What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have got an all new update for Samsung Pass application. As we all know, Samsung Pass enables us to log into any third party applications or the websites just by using the biometrics instead of remembering and typing the corresponding IDs as well as passwords. I did make a quick video on this application recently. If you missed it, I will leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and check it out. In that video, I did demonstrate how you can manually add passwords and IDs safely and securely inside Samsung Pass application. Anyways, now let's go ahead and take a look at this all new update. As you can see, the change log says import or export data. Export data stored in Samsung Pass to a file or import data from the file. I guess you have already understood this, right? So we can export the data or import the data stored in Samsung Pass to or from the file. As you can see here, this is the older version of Samsung Pass. There is a notification here on the top right corner. When I tap on this and go to settings, it says a new version of Samsung Pass is available. So I'm yet to update this on this particular device here, whereas on Note 20 Ultra, I have already updated it. So let's go ahead and open the application and see what's new here. As you can see on the older version, this is how the interface looks. And on the new Samsung Pass, we have got a different interface altogether, just that the layout is different here. As you can see, we have IDs and passwords, under which we have apps, websites, and manually added passwords and IDs. Then we have private info, we have got payments, addresses, and notes. So if you have added any of these information here, it will be displayed under this private information. I think I prefer the previous version itself. That layout was looking much better. Anyways, now let's go to the important new feature here. Let me tap on these three dots and let's go to settings. As you can see on the older version, we have got account and syncing, fingerprints, face, add Samsung Pass to app screen, etc. So this is what we have here. Whereas on the newer version, we have got an all new option under personal section. We got see all devices using Samsung Pass. When you tap on this, we will be able to see all those phones or other devices which are using Samsung Pass with the same login ID. We have an option to download and erase data. Then here is the feature which is mentioned in the change log, import data, export data to phone. Now when you tap on export data, the Samsung Pass information, IDs, passwords, cards, addresses, memos can be exported to My Files application where it will be stored. And the same file can be imported into a Samsung device which may come in handy. Now let's select IDs and password. I will tap on export. Here it says create a password to protect your exported data file. We can create a password here. I'll just tap on continue. Now the data is exporting here. As you can see here, it says your data has been exported to my files, internal storage, download. I'll just tap on OK. Now let's go to my files application. Let me tap on downloads. Here you can see Samsung Pass file is saved over here. We can't really open this file now. You can only import this file on Samsung Pass. I can share the same file to another device of mine where I have logged in from a different account and perhaps I can import that particular file into that phone as well. That is what this feature is all about. And at times this feature may come in handy. That's all I want to share in this video. I hope you have got the update. If you haven't got it, go to Samsung Pass and check the notifications or you can go to Galaxy Store and see if there is any updates available for your application. I will also leave a link for this app in the description below. That's all I want to share here. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. And if you're new on the channel, make sure to subscribe and become a part of Apex community to watch some cool contents on Samsung Galaxy phones, Android apps, Galaxy watches, and anything related to tech. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye-bye.